Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. Today we see our first video that we polymerize something. In fact, today we will try to make artificial silk. So, uh, everyone, uh, as you know, we produced some uh, basic copper sulfate in our last video, and we are going to use it to produce uh, some rayon, uh, which is uh, used uh, to make artificial silk. So, let's see how this can be made. So the procedure for the experiment consists in firstly weighing 4 grams of basic copper sulfate which, which we produced and then we're going to pour 40 milliliters of 25% uh, ammonia then we're going to mix the two, the copper, the basic copper sulfate with the ammonia uh, after that we're going to mix it and let it uh, react for a while then we're going to decant this uh, solution because the uh, residue will remain um, after that uh, we are uh, going uh, to uh, mix some cotton into this solution uh, about uh, one gram of cotton uh, then uh, we are going to prepare a, a solution composed of 30, 20, 20 milliliters of 95% uh, sulfuric acid and we are going to add 180 milliliters of water then we are going to put uh, with a syringe some of this uh, solution that we prepared uh, before uh, in uh, the sulfuric solution, uh, the uh, sulfuric acid solution, and then we're going to put everything and see what happens. So guys, what happens in this experiment, as we, see, as we saw before, uh, this uh, copper uh, carbonate has been produced uh, in a previous video and this, this has been done with raw materials uh, really uh, easily available and uh, after that when we get this uh, copper carbonate 
we just have to add it to ammonia in fact uh, this solution uh, is really um, important because it dissolves uh, uh, cotton and as we know this is really difficult because cotton is a uh, polymer and that's really difficult to uh, destroy its uh, bonds uh, because they are covalent bonds and they are really uh, highly energetic uh, after that uh, when we uh, have this cotton dissolved in our solution uh, what we have to do is to add uh, sulfuric acid because uh, sulfuric acid is is able to polymerize uh, our uh, cellulose and also it is able to wash away uh, our uh, complex and uh, so uh, because of this uh, um copper salts are formed and uh, also these are washed away from sulfuric acid and that's why we see a blue color in our solution because the reason is the ion uh, or the ramic ion that is blue in color and so we can see this uh, the formation of copper sulfate by, by the blue color of our solution and after that we just have to wait that our ion fibers uh, get white So guys, the experiment is over and we want you to know that when we use a uh, sewing with a needle uh, our fibers are much more stronger than when we put uh, our uh, solution uh, directly from our beaker. Also, we want you to know that um, uh, after we put uh, cotton in uh, our uh, solution uh, of uh, complex uh, and uh, dramatic complex, uh, we form something that is called viscous, and this viscous is a, um, a precursor uh, for many uh, fibers, like for example, silk, as we see uh, in this experiment. And also, we want you to know that uh, this, exp uh, this experiment is really dangerous. In fact, we use uh, concentrated uh, ammonia and also concentrated sulfuric acid, and they can, they can be both uh, dangerous because uh, uh, for the vapors that are produced and also because they are corrosive. So you should be really careful when you perform this experiment, and uh, you should also use a few mode or do it outside. So everyone, if you like this video, please let know in the comments. And if you want to see more amazing experiments, please visit the page and subscribe to it. So, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys.